Because God forbid the game animate two people moving dynamically at the same time. Whoa, it's huge in here! What in the world is this place meant to be? Okay, the roses under glass is a little creepy. Listen, Maxwell. Don't know if you knew this already, but I've heard that Rose Tower is built on a power spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When we get up to the roof and have a bit of a space, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. So is the reception lady just going to watch this? Well, is, uh, which is all well and good, but less certain is whether this lift can get us to the top. Rose Tower has like 100 floors, right? Am I going to have to battle through all of them? You'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. This is like the Oscorp. This is like the Oscorp scene in Spider-Man, uh, the Spider- Into the Spider-Verse, where all the fucking scientists just, like, pull out pulse rifles and shit. <laughs> oh, hi! Hi, uh, hi how you friend? Er, fr friend? Friend, and uh, hi, how how you friend? Yes, hi, how you friend? Uh, another problem: balancing Pokemon is a logistical nightmare. Doesn't help Game Freak greatly favors fan favorites, keeps the rest in the dust, and keeps changing gimmicks with each iteration. Yeah, that's honestly one of the things that's always bothered me. I've I'm under the impression I'm of the impression that any Pokemon should be viable to one degree or another. The meta may make certain Pokemon less useful. Like, if they have particularly egregious type weaknesses. But any Pokemon should be able to be viable. See? Miss Elena says so. And it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. If I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. Ah, capitalism. Elijah. Macrocosmos. That must mean, that must be like the name of the bad guys. Oh, a Durant. Yeah, we're gonna squish it. Brick break! Ooh, this is a fast Durant. You dick. I mean, you can keep reducing my special defense. It's not going to do anything. I'm just going to kill you. This is what I mean when I said earlier I don't understand why people use uh, stat reduction. I just sat there and pounded on it, and it worked just fine. Pokemon damage is simply too high to make stat reduction effects useful. Things die too quickly. Having to give up my pocket money, losing means, a, means I'm back in the red. Yeah, this guy is seriously capitalism poisoned. Why, my bonus! My dreams of finally affording a hell. Oh! Oh! Ow! Fuck! You didn't have to say that to a millennial. We need to speak to Chairman Rose. Tell us where he is! Uh, no. Fuck you, kids. Get on the lift. Chairman's at the top of the building. Oh, okay. Alright, we're nearly to Chairman Rose. Hold on, Lee. We're coming. Come on, Raxel, let's crack on! Get on the lift. Actually, I want to talk to the receptionist. Welcome, this is the front desk of Rose Tower. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. Well, that's a new symbol. This feels like one of those levels in a uh, beat-em-up where enemies are just gonna, like, fall from the ceiling. This is taking ages. What? I don't think we're at the roof yet. Why have we stopped? Wow, is the silver hair required? You two are gym challengers, aren't you? Thank you for taking part in the Galar League's gym challenge. And I'm afraid it doesn't give you the right to interfere with our work. We will drive you out, of, uh, out to protect the many subsidy companies housed here in Rose Tower. Oh my god, the final boss is literally capitalism. Behold the glorious high-tech elevators of Rose Tower, able to withstand Pokemon battles. They have been. They are constructed by the subsidiary Macrocosmos Construction. The final boss is literally capitalism. Jane and Mateo. That man does not look like a Mateo. 
Wow, they really love their steel types, don't they? I should have Auntie Flame in first. Capitalism is always the true villain. Falls to the ceiling. <laughs> Jen, what the fuck are you doing? What? Why are you on the ceiling, Jen? Did you did you have like way too much caffeine? Uh hop. I don't mean to tell you how to train your Pokemon, but I don't know if regular types are the best to be bringing in against steel. Since they tend to resist normal damage. Yep. Don't worry, I'll kill the elephant. And it's dead. And another endangered species goes extinct. Bronzong used extra sensory. Oh, that's a pro Oh, good. <laughs> I was gonna say, if he hit Goheen- Oh, no wait, Goheen's dark, so he's immune. That's right. Uh, I- Oh, I don't know if this thing's a fight- If this thing is a steel type. Pop, again, my dude. Normal attacks aren't going to do it here. Maybe if the dub wool gets knocked unconscious. Uh, I won't have to fucking worry about this anymore. It's gonna kill it with a br with a body slam. All right, sure. Hey, Auntie Flame hit sixty one. Poop. We've created an extraordinary lift that's safe for even even for a Pokemon battle. Nobody can beat Mateo Cosmos Construction when it comes to our dedication to our work. I mean, you, you fucking men in black want to be rejects. If I've been defeated, I have little choice but to respectfully retreat. Yet I must ask once again that you please do not interfere with Chairman Rose's work. The elevator in Rose Towers are constructed so that only the floors ascend. Uh, but that presents some danger. Thus, the presence of these walls constructed of light. Light? You can thank Mateo Cosmos Construction for providing this wonderful technology as well. Ha, <laughs> haven't had too much camp, I'm actually pretty knackered. Oh, okay, well... Uh, wait, so those folks working in the tower can stop the elevator from the outside at any time? We're just trying to get to the top already! Well, unless you want to climb a hundred flights of stairs, I don't see another choice. Our team's been working themselves ragged for us, let me heal them all up. Do I have the option to switch? I want the option to switch out my fighting type. I should have a fire type in first. Fuck. Rose Tower is a thousand feet tall. You are now about 500 feet above the ground. I'm from MC Insurance. Do you have a life insurance policy? Because we're going to throw you out a fucking window. We're gonna defenestrate your children asses. I love that I now know that word. Clang? Uh, Clank and Mawile. Okay, so more steel types. Alright. Mawile's Intimidate. Great. Uh, alright. Uh, Pokemon, gotta bring in fire, gotta bring in fire. Yeah. I even took a long nap. I actually took a nap earlier myself. It took like a 20 minute lay down before the stream started. Again, why are you using a normal type? Oh, well it's paralyzed. Okay, that's helpful. Shift gears. That movie really that move really should be grind my gears. Fake tears. Oh balls. Alright, well, let's set her on fire. Wow. That is a shockingly fast Pokemon. Okay, that's a pretty badass looking move. I mean it was garbage against my fire type, but it was pretty badass looking. All right, Goheen hit 60, huzzah. And Dubwool continues to use Body Slam against Steel-types. 
I have to fucking do everything around here. Yeah, you see, now that might be useful. Actually, if that hits five times, Double will be knocked unconscious. Ah. So much for my luck. God forbid he used something other than Dubwool. I guess Dubwool is like his prime Pokemon. Nobody can beat MC Insurance when it comes to our dedication to our work. This building's well over 500 feet tall. It's... That's as tall as around 100 Machokes standing on top of each other. Is that like a fantasy you have, lady? A tower of macho? I'm quite terrified of heights, actually. Unfortunately, our assurance doesn't pay out for being defeated in Pokemon battles. Again, can I... Don't get a chance to change, of course. I'm really hoping this is the last trainer battle before we get to the top. Rule of three and all that. You're nearly to the top, but you're not meeting the chairman. I've got no fear of heights. I work high in the skies, doing my job for the lofty macrocosmos air. Oh good, an airline pilot. That means he's drunk. So my fire moves will be extra useful. Stun fist. Oh, that little shit. I fucking hate stun fist. No, Brick Break is super effective against both of these, so yeah, we'll just let Goheen kill them. Alright, Donna should hit uh, Zen Headbutt. It had an... Okay, it's also useless. Great. All of you are fucking terrible at this. Every last trainer in this elevator besides me. No one likes Stunfisk. Good, I'm glad I'm not alone in that. See, now if you've been using a decent attack... I wouldn't have to brick break him a second time. And down he goes. Oh, Donna was so close. Nobody can beat Macrocosmos Air when it comes to our dedication to our work. You've got the You ever get that floaty feeling when you lift when the lift is going up? He has amazing typing. Too bad it's wasted on a terrible Pokemon. What is Stunfisk's type? I can't remember. Don't you presume to meet the chairman? You're not on the same level as such a great man. You must know that in a high-rise such as this one, the higher up you go, the more important the people you find working there. Chairman Rose is at the top of the top. Not just of this tower, but of all Galar! Ground Electric. Oh, that is a good type. That is good typing. Looks like... Looks like, uh, looks as though we're nearly there, mate. Look sharp. Let's do this. So the, so the walls of this tower are a hard light construct? Is that what they were telling me earlier? Oh, wow. This is quite a roof. Uh, okay. What's up here? Welcome to Chairman Rose's exclusive space. Here, nearly a thousand feet above the earth. So, you've got all the special staff that I ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less from the trainers handpicked by Champion Leon himself. But I'm afraid it is now time for you to go home. Because... Oh, hi. I will not allow anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rose! You shall be first, Rexel! If I beat you to pieces, then the champion will have no one to battle and will thus lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the chairman says. <coughs> I spat I spat all over my new monitor. <laughs> you are challenged by Macrocosmos Elena. Wow, five. I was, I was going to say, are we never going to get someone with six Pokemon? Maybe Leon does. 
Okay, he can beat an ice Pokemon pretty easy. Oh, I can Dynamax up here. Neat. All right. No effect. Oh, it's Ice Dark. No, it's not Ice Dark. It's Ice Fairy. Crunch works. Yes, by all means, set him on fire. That's fine. Munch. Munchy crunch. Huh! <sighs> my, how cheeky. Double team. What, do you plan on sitting there, sitting there and letting me miss you while I burn to death? Oh, too bad. Donna hit 60. And Goheen is still on fire. Send out Zarcina. Uh, yeah. Uh, that sounds Ice-type to me. Bring out the Fire-type. Which, oddly enough, is my highest level at the moment. Sitting there looking pretty. <laughs> the wind flowing in her hair despite the fact we're in an enclosed arena. What the fuck? Oh my god, there's all... I guarantee to you, there is just the most degenerate porn made of this Pokemon. Dump truck ass like that? Yeah, no, I, the, the fan artists are gonna have a field day. Lightning hit 60. Excellent. The only one who's not 60 or higher is Benoit. Had to send out Milotic. Uh, Milotic? Very fighting. Interesting. Um, all right. Well, Dommy Mommy Pokemon. <laughs> nice. Uh oh. Uh, wait, no, uh... The dragon is weak to fairy. Psychic is good against pu against fighting. Maybe. Water fairy. Well, I've made a mistake. So, ground, one old water. Oh, that thing! That's what its name is. Uh, this might be bad. Uh, let's see what Psychic does, to, Psychic Attack does to it. It hits. That's good. It doesn't do much. But the Aqua Ring makes it clear that it's water, and I have a select, I have an option for water. Uh, and that option is... Blightning. I'm getting a lot of use out of Blightning. The fairy is... Hooked itself with a mystical veil. Sure. This is really subdued music for this... What is essentially the boss of Team Rocket fight. And down goes that Dragonair wannabe. Uh... Salazol. Oh, this is, um, yeah, this is a fire type. This is the level up of the, uh, the Salamander Pokemon I found. I think only, I think this is something that's, like, gender locked to female, as I recall. I remember reading something about that. Also gets all sorts, oh god, can you imagine the fan art of this one? Fire poison. Well, all I needed to hear was fire. God, if Salazol, uh, a Salazol would be working for fucking Burning Angel. Guaranteed. She literally looked like she was tattooed with a shaved head. <coughs> oh, Gardevoir. Uh, Gardevoir. Okay, so her entire Pokemon team is fan art fate. Got it. Uh, let's see. What's... Gardevoir is a psychic type. I forget what's good against psychic. Dark is good against Psychic, as I recall. Um, Dark is good against Psychic. Ghost is good against Psychic. 
Um, I think Bug is good against Psychic. We'll bring out Auntie Flame. It's got a dark attack without being vulnerable to uh, Psychic. Oh, I have seen fan art. You don't want to see it. <laughs> this is my last Pokemon. Seriously, Elena's got to finish this. Oh, good. She's referring to herself in the third person. That always ends well. What? Oh, I completely underestimated it. This is a, I had I had I th I thought it was Gardevoir, not Garbador. So this thing's pure poison, um, which is a problem for me. Uh, which means we're going to switch. Benoit, get out here, you poison bastard! So so this is so her Pokemon team is actually a metaphor for her. It's a bunch of beautiful feminine Pokemon, controlled, you know, and 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 like. Poised, but when you get to the bot, when you get to the last bit, when you get to the final bit, she's just a pile of fucking garbage. This might hurt. <laughs> kind of love the fact that he's got a bunch of toys stuck in him, or she's got a bunch of toys. Here is a move I was good with even before I changed my image. That is a lot of poison. Unfortunately for you, I don't fucking care. Well, I am poisoned, that's a problem, but... One max mind blast and you should be done. Dynamax! Max mind storm! <laughs> Suck on this trash heap. <laughs> trash Pokemon was her original starter, actually. Oh, wow. Imagine being a 10 year old and being handed a pile of trash. Max Rocks Fall. Rocks Fall, everybody dies? Ow. Wow, it actually survived my hit. Sandstorm kicked up. Is it die to its own Sandstorm? Because <laughs> because my Benoit won't, because he's a ground type. Trubbish is cute. It is kind of cute. Although I imagine it's got to smell just ungodly. Okay, now you die. And that's... We don't make trash. We burn it. <laughs> oh, Crosshair finally gets to learn Hydro Pump. Uh, I don't think we're going to, because I hate moves that take away a turn. And as an accuracy, you gave 80%. Fuck that. Um, yeah, no, fuck that. I don't want to learn it. Okay, Benoit, so that was part one of the battle. Part two is where I shove you up Olina's ass. <sighs> it wasn't able to win. Olena, you really are a hopeless woman. She's even got like the like the choker. I bet you I bet you that strap right there going down her neck goes into all sorts of interesting configurations under her clothing. Just saying. Ah, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish. There is nothing that can be done now. Um, that doesn't sound great. Typical, Raxel. You and Pangoro are unstoppable. You're damn right we are. Everything I did, I did to the further the chairman's own goals. Oh, for a second there I thought she was evil, but I guess the chairman actually is evil. Whatever the fuck he's doing. Leon, we have discussed this a hundred times already. And still you fail to understand what is at stake. You, who is supposed to be our champion. I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What difference is one day going to make? 
My duty as champion isn't this, this madness. It's to carry out the championship match. That's what Galar wants. It's what I want. That's what we've all been looking forward to for so long. What, like a year? I mean, how often do these champion things happen? No, you do not understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Galar region stretched out before us. And know that the energy required to keep this brilliant, glittering world alive will be exhausted a millennia from now. The people of Galar today will no longer even exist. What Galar wants totally hardly, today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. We must act as quickly as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy, so that all can look forward to a better future. Oh good, he's a fucking eco-fascist. Because I guarantee the answer is not renewable energy sources. In a thousand years! Fine, look, I think I can understand your concerns, Chairman. I give you my word that I'll help with your plans just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. <laughs> Rose just grabs Leon and throws him off the fucking tower. <laughs> Rose, I want to tell him, like, uh, I like the cut of your chin and hard slap him in the back of his head. <laughs> Lee, you never showed up when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something had happened. Piers and Marnie and all those Team Yell oddballs, they all helped us out to get here. I must apologize to you, Hop, if, uh, if we've made you worry at all. There are th times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop, Raxel. Head back to the hotel. We'll all grab dinner together, yeah? It's on me. You can order whatever you fancy. No, I'd rather kill you. And him. If you'll excuse us, Chairman Rose. And I do hope you'll watch tomorrow's match. It's sure to be one for the history books. Oh, are we not getting the... Are we not getting the big evil expo exposition dump here? Oh, okay. One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We, no, I am going to change the course of history. Okay, I thought we were about to get the big evil exposition dump in the final boss fight, but apparently not. And the next evening. Wait, after the championship match? Did we not have it? I figured it would be a morning thing. This is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I've had a butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. Well, it was a caterpie at first, then it evolved. Challenger Raxel, the finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't you learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another helping of Hop and his trusty Cinderace, I'd be happy to give you one. No, wait, please. I'm not one of those other League staff. I'm the good one, if I may say so myself. See? My hair is brown and I'm not wearing black sunglasses. Because that's apparently all that separates us. I know it's early, but I'm off to bed. Have a good stream. Oh, no worries, Jen. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for coming by. Um, eventually, this episode will reach YouTube if you ever want to catch up. <laughs> I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Elena can be a little extreme in her desires to aid this, to assist the chairman with his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of League staff in secret to be deployed for, well, things like the debacle last night. Well, those and weird parties that I keep hearing about that sound fun, I guess. Well, it's supposed to be fun. I, I, I didn't know some of the terms that were being used, but I, I probably shouldn't be talking to children about this. Uh, but you don't need to worry about today's staff. All of us are here for the right reasons. We're getting paid. Well, that's what she says. I guess we'll trust her then. Yeah, Raxel? Let's go. They can't wait another minute. <clears throat> Would you like me to show you the way to win the stadium? Uh, no, I'm fine. Understood. Come talk with me again if you need any help, or use one of the flying taxis out front. Alright, um... I guess we can just keep going in, in the front. That seems fine. Alright, take me there. 
Show me the way to Winden Stadium.